and we all know that the presidential treatment program was something new, but why did you allow something like that to happen in his program when it was against normal protocol? As for me, I work on authority. When I went to ask my boss, he told me to do the green light. I proceed. If at all he said that, let me not do it, I dare not to do it. So even though you knew it was wrong, you had instructions to carry on? Carry on. And what were the circumstances around um, in that, during that period, what were the circumstances that would make one perhaps to do something that they ordinarily wouldn't do to okay. go against um, operational procedures. Okay, mune mu kulu lanya atinu kulu menu be caring menu se keno ete marila ning ayatara ibalanta kulu kela meni alonko alla du ko balanta la nungotu mu. Security. Anko. Security. Just to secure yourself. Puri efan tanka. Your family. That's the only thing. Ina dimbaya lo drone mu. Kicking you out of the work. Sending you, sending you from the office would might be the easiest thing. But, you know, doing some other unnecessary inhuman might be definitely um, inappropriate. Mr. Fal, just make it clear so that we can understand what you are trying to say. Under what conditions were you operating during that time? Are you saying that you could have lost your job if you refused to do what they wanted? Not only that. Not only that. Not only that, because they can just come and pick you and then take you somewhere and then beat you or do no, anything no, no. Yes, that you yes, somebody is what I want. Mm -hmm. Before so you were afraid, so you had to comply. Because. Can you tell us what you know about the presidential treatment at the time? What exactly was it about? What was it designed to achieve? Yeah, it was just um, to, I have to call it, um, to empower the president. And then, president only said Ben Tiarro. Yeah, so that they will know that yes, he's a herbalist, he can okay, do okay. this thing very well. I think that's the only sense of... Did you hear what the president said about what he was capable of doing in relation to HIV AIDS? Fwe fanga ya mwele, president wa emem fonu nkate si men keno nye HIV AIDS jankar keso ni nkurao nyindo. Yes. We have seen videos and witnesses who have come to say that the president yes. said could cure AIDS. Was that your general understanding of what he was trying to do? Yes. Perhaps what he was claiming to do. Yes. And with your medical knowledge, do you know whether or not there is a cure to AIDS? As, as of now, as of present, no, just to manage. The antiviral therapy works very well. And what do you mean as of now? Was there ever a cure? Okay, munana ya foko for saying benin tembo mento for jara rong soto talenumba. There was never a uh -huh. including the presidential treatment program. Was it it including the presidential and all alternative treatment. Mm -hmm. So what was your perspective as a medical professional in the field when you heard him make these claims? I know. I know I know that, that definitely it was definitely a host. It's not possible. And then I'll know. 
you knew it wasn't possible. I know it was not possible. Uh, no, no, no. No, no. And how did that make you feel having to work conducting tests? He is program when you knew that basically his claims that he could cure AIDS was absolutely false. Whoever is referring the test back will maybe will engage him and say that, that yes, definitely this is not working. Because the results will go back to him. The person who, whoever is coordinating the results. You haven't answered my question. Yes. I was asking about your opinion. Oh, my own, my own opinion. opinion. That I should. Can you get back again? <laughs> I just wanted to know exactly okay. um, how you felt mm -hmm. working within the presidential treatment program, conducting the test, when you knew that everything that he had said about curing AIDS was false. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how I feel, I, I feel very uncomfortable, definitely. No, I, I, I cannot even express what I would like. Completely uncomfortable. And how long did you work um, within the presidential treatment program? It did not go for a year. Not go for a year when samples were being diverted to other areas. You were only conducting tests for the president for just a period of one year? Yeah, <laughs> not, not up, to, up to one year. Not up to a year. Not up to a year. Do you know how long it was? Um, not up to here, but I know samples do used to come. Actually, used to bring samples, but not to me. I know that when he comes, he brings samples, but samples used to die, but I don't know where So you dealt with samples for less than a year? Yeah, for less than a year. What wow. batches did you actually conduct tests on? It is Kataboro ke ala Tombondiro Sapajele Kafujelu. I know the first batch. Nalo ne kafu follow njenga. First batch, I did the CD4. Ntele njia CD4 chesanti yangu njenga. And how many of them were there? The first batch, we are total to about seven, if I can remember, seven or eleven, Mama something like that. Mwana wana fomo tanga ningeling. I could remember. But apart from the first batch, you conducted other tests as well. Other tests. Uh, yeah. group follow, kafu follow, kola, ekotoboro, dole kele. In fact, you said you conducted hundreds of tests. And they, they were coming in. They were just coming in. They were just coming in. They were so it was a very busy period for your life. Yeah, definitely very, very busy. And do what it do? Who's yet a back? Not, 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 not properly organized because. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. Sometimes samples will come at a very wrong time. What do you sample or canal? What me alone go? Iman, 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 what all? Before you proceed, I just wanted to establish the batches that you worked with because if the first batch was about seven or 11, patients or like eleven that. patients, then where were all these hundreds of samples coming from? Okay, so I left alone. Nale, why are you? It's a dole kotu boy man dole kotu. But left alone. Nale, we sent him to be kabona minto ni minto le. They were coming in sequence. They were not coming at random like that. Yeah. So you must have dealt with more than the first batch. Did you deal with the second batch? The third batch? Third batch as well, yes. Fourth batch? Uh, the fourth batch, I'm not sure. We have evidence that the first to the fourth batch were all done relatively around the same period. They were basically overlapping. Yeah, overlapping. 
Within a month, something like that. Within a month. So when you conducted the C D four count test, what were the results? Can say maybe like seventy more than seventy greater amount of the samples, more than seventy five percent we are very, very low. And from what you've told us, what did that mean? They need treatment because the CD4 count is low. And they need treatment or otherwise it's poorly treatment. If, it is a, if the patient is on treatment, it will be a poorly treatment. And wasn't it the case that this majority of tests that were coming out very low were, being, were actually being conducted after they received the treatment from the president? Yeah, the sample came, but actually, definitely, I don't know whether they were after the treatment or before the treatment. But it is clear that the CD4 count test was done actually as well after the program, after the treatment was conducted, before the passing out ceremony to determine what the CD4 count was. CD4 control. And since you were conducting those tests, then it could have only passed through you. And they were actually low, I know, majority of them. So what does that tell you about the president's treatment? What does that tell you about the president's treatment? Treatment failure. Or restart everything. And there was no cure to HIV AIDS. And there was no cure to HIV AIDS. Can you tell us about the first batch that passed out? Something unusual happened during the passing out ceremony. You observed something. Just tell us a little bit about that. Wakafu follow me ka e akate ye jara le foy kende ata hanfo ye bula. And I can see your signature on the television. Written CD4 and all the results. Yes, yeah, I CD4 and in Kotobor Kotongo, you may tandy. Yeah, yeah. And you were not happy with that? Yeah, I was not happy with that. 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 Yeah, I was Mm -hmm. At that point, was he the director of the program? He was the head. Of the he was the head. I think he was the head. In and can you tell us what it was that he was reading? And can you tell us what it was that he was reading? Because from what we saw in the videos mm -hmm. and the evidence that we have, he was not giving um, results of CD4 counts, rather of viral loads. That is what he was reading out. The form that I saw was definitely a printout of a CD4. CD4 was down. So he had your CD4 count results in his hand. With your signature. signature And he was reading out something that was not there. He was basically reading a figment of his own imagination. And then 
deceiving people to believe that this, these were actually viral load results. Is that what you're saying? I think probably that, that's, that's the right thing anyway. Well, what I saw was the CD4. My, when my wife called me, it was the CD4 results that I, I saw on the screen. My signature. I think one of the results. The so so printout is so long, like, like this half of this paper. A little bit um, light brown. And as far as you were concerned, you said most of the results were actually very low, the CD4 counts. Very low. And you tell Jero to retain him for CD4 control to a Yuriko, a Marie, a Monte La Cogita, Bakele, a Jataka, and a Carol. Are you able to have a low CD4 count mm -hmm. and then your viral load is undetectable? Is that possible medically? Jara Rola Carol and Yinkake and Mola CD4 control ye G. But Satra Fanang Alla Jankar Kesola e Yirko a Jato Kono, Satra Fanang Amunta a G folk sa Monsafono Atabala. That would be a might. That would be a might, definitely. I I don't I don't I don't I don't think that one will be a true you mean that would be false? Uh, basically. Because well, I mean, you can also have a CD4 count low, undetectable. No. Maybe one in a million. It's possible, but I can say one in a million. There's nothing impossible in this world. Routine one, two, three samples, mm -hmm. all undetectable, viral load below 200, no. And it is only a... For people watching me, other scientists watching me here, they would, they would deter to what, what I've just said. Not possible. And it is only viral loads too that can be undetectable and not CD4 counts. Yeah, um, yeah, only um, the viral um, load that can be detectable. The viral... CD4 count can go... And in fact, on that particular occasion, Dr. Mbo was reading out the results of these patients and he was saying that their viral loads were undetectable, even though he was holding your results. Yes, yes. There's something that we want to clarify. When Dr. Mbo said that the viral loads were undetectable in the patients, he made a statement to say that because the viral loads were undetectable, they no longer had the AIDS virus in their body. Amunta Laftabula Senandila, Dr. Mbo in Foko, Wairi Ijato Kono. Jankar kesolo man jeno je kote ke kafole undetectable image je image amari jato kono wato wole mnyindi ko amari mani jankar kesolo soto kote ke wole mnyindi ko akende atale. What do you say to that statement? Iba mone fola wakuma kama. Undetectable can be negative are quite two different parallels. Definitely. Kafole maji aning amaria kama aman jeno. Even you are undetectable, you still continue to, to, to use your art. If tested, you will be positive. If you are positive, you will be positive today. You will be positive tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, you will, you will be positive as long as the cure, the cure for HIV is not established. So the undetectable was not basically a means of showing whether or not somebody's HIV status was positive. Still or negative. No. Munda kafu undetectable wolem jankar kesolu manji. Wola woto mukuleti meya longko atenyi tandi nola ko abba nyi mari kende atal faman kende. And that would be the role of the antibody test. Exactly. Wola bekele balajata kotoboro nyi mfangoti. Ha. As far as you're concerned, was an antibody test done at any stage during the presidential treatment program? President Lo Jawara Lo Wichokono, fo ebota kalamale, watisutontale bang, balajata kotoboro kenyi mola. 
Not to my side. Maybe Mr. Bachelet is responsible for that. We'll be able to answer that question. Mr. Bachelet is responsible for that. Mr. Bachelet is responsible for that. Because he's the first line of who does the antibodies. Who does the antibodies? Who does the follow-up? Who does the follow-up? Who does the follow-up? Who does the follow-up? Do you know what would be the strategy in promoting the viral load results rather than the antibody test? The antibody test. Okay, so I'm fairly ka yi jankar kese yiriko koto boro ke fo kule bani nyim don tema e ka fo me bala jata koto boro wolu kuflo lu sai ibe ila muna be tema so that the treatment is working fine ka je ko jara lo nyinga be tama ka nyama the whole world we see that yes saje duniya be safa ha treatment is okay jara lo nyinga be tama that yeah his treatment was working yeah it was working but if an antibody if an antibody test was done, it would have shown that these patients were still positive. So Definitely. We would not have I, and I know if they, do, if they do the test after that, they will still be positive. I don't know. So when those patients were being declared as undetectable, they still had the HIV virus in their system and they were still HIV positive. Mr. Witness, we have to stop here for the break and then we'll come back and continue shortly. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I hand over the witness to you for the break. Uh, thank you, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Fall. We will take a 30-minute break and come back at uh, uh, 12, um, uh, 10, 10 past 12. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and everyone. We are ready to proceed. The usher has gone to get the witness from the witness room. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Fall. Good afternoon. Mr. Fall. I hope you had a good break. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We'll just do a brief recap of the evidence you gave during the last session. Before we start, I'd like to remind you that you're still on the oath. You gave us a brief uh, introduction into your educational as well as your professional background. And you have established the fact that you are an expert in the area of HIV. You told us your experience working as a lab technician at the then RVTH under the Presidential Alternative Treatment Program. And responsible for conducting the CD4S uh, test. And we tell Martinuni CD4 CD4 count tests. And in CD4 ala yirikaro ka kotobo. And we concluded that the presidential alternative treatment program was completely false and a hoax. And we concluded that the presidential alternative treatment program was I would just like to take you back to establish certain things. You told us about your qualifications initially, your O-level qualifications. And that is what was required for you to become a lab assistant at the time. And you told us whether or not you were a you whether or not you were a science student. Yeah, yeah, no, I was not a, I was not a science student. Ani, man, kano science karam mudo din ngot. I was an art student, but I did um, um health science. Ngabar nga health science kela. Then at that time, that was at least one science subject that convinced me to. Ano what all the subject killing? Eh, ikaw wala ke? Memu science subject din. So even at that time, you had a background in science. 
Yes. You then went on to tell us about um, the CD4 count testing that you were doing for the program, the presidential program. But you had earlier told us about the different tests that were also conducted in relation to HIV. Including the antibody test, which you said Mr. Bachili was in charge of. And therefore, I'm not too sure whether or not you have any information as to that. How it was conducted. If you do, kindly let us know before we move on to the next test, which is the viral load test, and how that was also conducted. The antibody test, I guess he does it for himself. He does it at his biology lab. Then the viral loads have been extracted and sent abroad. I know some samples uh, actually were sent to Senegal. Morocco. Morocco. And um, how to call it? Um, uh, this place. Uh, um, yes, Morocco, Egypt. And in Egypt. Do you know why those samples were taken to Senegal, Morocco, and Egypt? At that time, we don't have the viral load um, um, instrument, the test to be done here. But you were able to have the, anti the antibody test was available. Locally. They were available throughout the country. They were available throughout the country from the uh, other Do you know anything about the viral load test that was sent abroad? In what hospitals they were conducted? And maybe what the results were after they came back. Yeah, the results, I guess everybody sees on, on the, you know, over the television. Results? Uh, undetectables and all this. And I think the name of the hospitals, sometimes they used to say it, but I don't, I forget, I, I don't know. Actually. In terms of the results for the viral load, I believe you've already told us that those were not the results of the viral load because it was the CD4 count that Dr. Mm -hmm. Mbo was actually using. So therefore you wouldn't happen to know what the results of those viral loads were that Definitely. were sent abroad. But going by the CD4 count test that you had done, would you be able to um, tell us what the viral load test probably would have been? But between your CD4 control menu, it is a cool bonyoto. It's a phone on Yelabang, it is a lundo to Wolube, Tembo Menton Wotumo. Compared to a low. A low CD4 count. We don't we don't expect um, um, a normal um, uh, viral loads. Definitely. viral So the viral load would have been high. Would have been definitely mm -hmm. high. viral loading And would you such suggest that perhaps that is why those tests were actually not used when they came back and rather they were being disguised. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's the case. Uh, 
But that might be the case. As again, I will unquote it. At the beginning, you already alluded to the fact that the tests that were performed during the presidential treatment program may have not been authentic. Because the standard operational procedures were not complied with. Can you tell us? Give us more detail about exactly how these protocols were breached in relation to the presidential treatment program. I guess the standard pro operational procedures was not perfected, was not routinely done. Therefore, I will not, not authenticate those results. results hadn't, hadn't been it was perfected today, we would have got all the proofs because all the records will be there, copies will be presented, and then we will say that yes. This is the process. Can you tell us why there were no records, for example? No formal um, 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 requests are attached to the samples. So therefore, the results go just like that. So basically, the patients themselves were not making formal requests to be tested. No, it's, samples, they come through somebody. I don't physically see them. You don't physically see the patients? No. So therefore, you don't know where those samples were coming from. Did you know which patients they were coming from? I don't know the patients. Actually, it's mm -hmm. where they come. I know that they come from the patient cell treatment. How did you know that they came from the presidential treatment program? Because Bachili normally brings them. He brings them and gives it to me directly. And that is because he told you so? Yes. So you have no way of verifying whether that information is actually correct or not, apart from Bachili's word? Definitely. Yeah. I don't, I don't have any other option just to believe what he said. And and you had also said that the results were numbered, and or you the tests focus. were numbered. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they were no names on the test? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was not numbered. Were no names on the test? Their samples normally they don't come with names. So the you had no names on the test? So as a lab technician, you had no means of identifying who the tests were coming from. So Definitely, only code numbers. As far as you knew, they could have been even coming from persons who were not HIV positive. As a keno ite fang la londo to ulukabo na mulle bala meni alonko fangu lumani njangkar keso soto. Yes, I assume that in, fact, in duplicates, maybe you can take one uh, from one patient, you can take three different samples and say that this is patient A, patient B, patient C. For my own assumption, I don't know. 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 I don't 
apart from providing those vital information of the patient, doesn't it also represent consent that the patient actually wants to undergo this particular test? Hana manke o kaiti de daring ultimen unata wanya kaitan diko kotoboro lenyel to fodum nyinteke no la kaitan diko mari fango a telefango sonta adiata fangole puru yanyin kotoboro luke. Yes, of course, as per the SOP, as of even now today, that's what we all the centers are applying. Ah, Kabobi, the Kabobi la bent do medically. Jara budinkira bundal be kawzi la kilingo i kawzi lola tam noma. Can you tell us how many people worked under you at the time as head of the lab? Afanya watembo moja le duko kete koto nung eteme mu lab bunda nyatongo. Just let me clarify: IDC or hematology? Baranga sene andi. IDC bang for hematology. You were head of hematology at the time. Yes, but still covering IDC. Ha, dala mu nyatongo de hematology, but hani kabinte lo kanya fa IDC vananga. How many worked under you in hematology? How many? Worked under you Mojel in hematology. Mojele do ko keto keto koto hematology bundala. Unless I name them, then I would not know the number. Oni nge tolo for barinte. Oni nge tolo for killing killing. Go ahead. Okay, I think. Um, uh, I wonder who was part of it. I wonder. I wonder who Adabe Nungele. The other one, Sajo Njai. Sajo Njai Fanambeje. But she is not around. But he signed that At that time, I'm going to give you names. What all and bet all the dealer? I want to know. Just tell us where she is now. I want to know. She's still at RBT. She's still at the hematology. I want to know. Han kabi abe loptan baro la hematology bundaro. Go ahead. You have Adam Adam Njai. Adam Njai zoro. Where is she? Ale. She's still there. Abeje Han kabi. You have Adam Njai there. Adam Njai there fanan zoro. Where is she? Ale. No one passed away. O bandale. The hello, so was in perfect peace. Amen. Um, uh, how to call it? Um, she was very close to me. That's why I couldn't. Um. Sorry about that. I'm sure yeah, it must yeah. be very difficult. Sorry. Very very close to me. Definitely. Um. Auntie Mai. Ning Auntie Mai. What's her full name? Emuna Jeng, sorry. Emuna Jeng. Okay. Mama Nya Mama Nyambali. Mama Nyambali. Where is she now? Ali, signed. She's still with, with us, but Ning. stays on at polyclinic. Ning kabi anim benyo kana bari abedo kwa polyclinic le sign. Mama Nyambali is still with us, but posted at um, within the IDC, posted at um, um, Liman Street. Mama Nyambali anim benyo kana zabari yasa yasamba Liman Street le. Yeah. I've done all of them. Those are those are the ones actually. You learn multi. Did all of them perform these tests uh, for the presidential treatment program? You bele o kutoboro loke o president la o general program o ni na call to bang. No, except one. Hani na wanke killing. Except one. Um, Anta Jame. Olam Anta Jame. I don't mention Hani. Matu ofo. From time to time we do. What ni what ni wadi? Kanale. And she was also working under you. Yeah, but she's not. She's no more in the system. I don't know. She's travelled. I don't know where she's. And Amanda do kwe do kwe ni kona saying jikira for atama daleba. So as far as you were concerned, with all these testing that you were done, you could not verify the genuineness or the authenticity of the test. Amunta ko itela kujero to ni kutoboro lumenu be fotateng. Ite tenyi lubesa handi nola kwa afoi ni lubemu kuleti mene alonko ito nyayata le uotembo mene mene alonko ibe keka nuotumo. Very well indeed. Ola mtuwa nyati. You only received information from Bachili that it was from the presidential treatment. Munda iteka kiba aroso to Bachili bulle kwa afoko ni lubota presida ula jara lubunda lela. You never saw patients. Iman sasa toluje. And their names were not labeled on the samples. And you told Mantra Safari, "Ila Santi yong kai tolu bala." You don't know where the blood came from. Ibma lo yelo lo botan andame. Ha. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. I believe that's all we have for you today. Inum barasedo na mera bidal na nyine soto itela karola. I will now refer you back to the com um, chairman for any questions that the commissioners may have. Chairman, la kuosa indi la. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I hand over the witness to you.
Thank you, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Fall, for coming to testify before the Commission. Yeah, my uncle, Council, in Umbara, in Umbara, Fanang, Sedo, Puru Isonta, Purkana Seria Rulajam, Mr. Fall. Commissioners, if you have any questions, um, uh, if you may so indicate, uh, Commissioner Kinte, you have the floor, please. Sign, Commissioner Kinte, Lafrenian, and Kala. Aslam, Mr. Fall. Um, what I can understand um, from the sample testing and so on is that uh, the CD4 counts and the viral loads are inversely related. The, the lower the CD4 count, the higher the viral load. Amunta CD4 control new jita between Wolem Nindiko Jankar Keso Yurko Beselele. But indeed, you told us that it doesn't determine or it doesn't indicate that there, there are no viruses at all. But Abukani Yitandika Foko Jankar Keseti Yefereng. That it would be there, but it is so minor or so inactive that it cannot be detected. And well, my presumption will be what the patient should have been told at this charge was that continue administering the drug. So that in any way, if they had in any way attained that uh, indectability, in, uh, Undetectability uh, could be retained, sustained. Purunin Kamala, why are you coming and Jankar Keseja Ajato Kono? What are you doing? 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 But however, this uh, um, paradigm will be uh, undermined by the fact that. But what are you doing? 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 The patients uh, and the whole public have been convinced that they don't anymore have any virus. Which indeed was misleading. What is your take on this, on, on my this hypothesis and analysis? Saying it la jero mumuneti nti la nyinkulu bonyo tonya la karola aninga kulu jet ngasa atatenyami. Okay, thank you, uh, Commissioner Kinte. Inumbara, Commissioner Kinte. That was a very genuine question. Omo kumbu nyininkare kwe sahare ngolti. And perfectly analyzed. Andu ya itan ninyame mfanang atilintale. Yeah, the assumption was that um, uh, based on scientific <coughs> principles, like what I am doing now, well. a lot of procedures that will take, because we have standard scientific Procedure that we, we, we are going to take. From the initial statum of the patient, you know, analysis. When you follow the ladder, you saw Kujang Kurantoni na Kuni Niba Tandila. The end point. Kuni Labandulado. Counseling. Walanka Kachandi. Testing. Pre-test, post-test. That's where I'm just trying to take your hypothesis. This is what we maintain at Infectious Disease Clinic. In the initial, if, you, if a patient comes from A to Z, follow, follow, you're getting better, you're getting better, undetectable, there is a language the, the, the counselors will, will speak to you. Simply, they will tell you that you still have the virus. And 100% so, this is what the counselors, I'm not a counselor, I'm training counselor, but they will inform the patient that, so, you still have the virus. Keep it well. 
with your ARVs. And all the preventive measures. But they will never tell you that go home and sleep. You don't have the virus. No nurse or a doctor will tell to his patient. That's why I raise my case. Uh, thank you very much. If there are no further questions. Um, uh, Mr. Fall, if you have any final remarks to make, please proceed to do so now. I am chairman ko Mr. Fall. Ni ni kardo tije. Ni ayata raslan ko mabeda ita fanan lafta men fala molie ila ko mokum fa ramaluto. Isi tenden yewlu fu. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody. Ta ko mobe al nimbara. Um just to say a few words. Kuruka ko madanta fuduro. It's not easy. Aman sono ya. To go on <laughs> To come and uh, respond to TRRC. It's not easy. To be very honest. But definitely with patients. And what you are. Will determine what you it, are going to deliver. I've been getting a lot of extra, extra, you know, because some people, they saw me here. This is not the first time. What are you doing there? What are you looking for? What are they doing there? I just keep on keep quiet. The only, the only person that I disclose to is my wife. She was so much concerned. What are you going to say there? What, what did you know? So, but actually, when I explained to her, definitely she understood. Don't go over camera. Until now, before I even entered. Don't, don't go over the camera. She's seeing me right now. But I said I have to. I'm not trying to label anybody. I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to do my work. What I know, scientifically, I have to show to the whole world. Without fear. And don't fasala. Yeah. That's, that's why I, I will just rest my case. Thank you very much. For yeah. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Fall. There's quite an honest Emma. Uh, statement. Thank you so much for coming to testify before the commission. Chairman, ko inumbara ba ka Mr. Fall? Wamu ngani? Wamu ku senungleti yame yitandi wanya. Bari inumbara hani bi ila sere arokang. Council, um, uh, do we have a witness that is ready now? <laughs> we can bring in the, or do we take a lunch break, a, a pretty long one, and then come back? But you guide me, and I'll guide you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. If we may take a long lunch break, and then we'll come back after the break for the next witness. So we will resume our proceedings at uh, 2.30. Thank you. Thank you very much. Meeting is adjourned.